The light is on! Welcome to Swing Nation for October 2016. Swing Nation, people grooving together. Hello and welcome back to DSPN Dance Center for the finalists of the Splanky Battle. Our finalists are two incredible performers. One, a dance music legend, and the guy that's dancing with her. It's a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle you won't want to miss, featuring the music of George G and his make-believe ballroom orchestra. So without further pause, let's take a look at our finalists. First up, Dawn Hampton, dancer, cabaret legend. She's got more moves in her big toe than most have in a lifetime. Versus John Doak, singer, dancer. John is well-versed in the Lindy Hop as well as old-school hip-hop of the day. This looks to be an amazing battle, so let's take it to the floor. Lindy Hop is a social dance. It's what we do. But where does the dance come from? And why are we compelled to do it? Its roots are deeper than you might think. And Camille A. Brown shows this in her TED video, A Visual History of Social Dance in 25 Moves. Dance is a language, and social dance is an expression that emerges from a community. Camille attempts to answer the question, why do we dance? She guides us through video examples from the Juba African Slave Dance to the Lindy Hop, the Twist, and even the Running Man. Personally, I love how I can travel to a distant place on the globe, find a Lindy Hopper, and dance, and not even speak the same language. The video gives words to that feeling I've had for years. That social dance is about community and connection. And through social dance, the boundaries between groups become blurred. And now for a couple of quick bits. Lindy Hop had a place at the opening of the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History. The grand opening, which happened on September 24th, featured an energetic performance by local area Lindy Hoppers. If you're going to be in the Washington DC area, the new museum is open seven days a week, 364 days a year. Go to nmaahc.si.edu or check out the link in the description. This one was snagged from the Jive Junction Facebook page. A video originally posted to the Today Show's page featured Al Roker and the comedian master Dick Van Dyke. 
For younger viewers, Mr. Van Dyke had a very popular television show back in the days before color was invented by the French. The Dick Van Dyke Show, starring Dick Van Dyke. The clip shows the 90-year-old comedian teaching Roker a few jazz moves. And then they go like that, and then backwards. Don't, don't put those. <laughs> Ow. So whenever you think you can't nail that step that Ann Moni taught you, there's inspiration for you to keep going. Booyah! Our featured I Charleston video is I Charleston Lisboa. Beautiful look. What the hell are you doing? Hmm? I'm, I'm filming this so I could watch it later and practice. No, no, I, I didn't. I, I thought I totally it was okay. Didn't I give mean, you this is a video show. I, You're filming me, and it's oh, like I'm, it's, right. I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's it's fine. I'll tell you what. I'll do a recap at the end. You can you can film me then. Oh, okay. Great. All right. Our featured I Charleston video is I Charleston Lisboa. Beautiful locations, great music by gentlemen and gangsters, and lots of dancers, I mean lots of dancers. Make this an awesome addition to the ever-growing library of I Charleston. I mean, these guys literally dance all over the world. And that'll do it for show 78. If you love what we're doing on Swing Nation and would like to lend your support, head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Yehudi to donate whatever you can. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe and share buttons. And if you're thinking, hmm, where can I find more Lindy Hop content? Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and of course, Yehudi.com. Thanks for watching Swing Nation. We'll see you in the next one. Later. All right, come on, quickly, because I got another show to do. Let's go.